when it comes time to butcher the rabbit you want to decide how you're going to do it the preferable method is breaking the neck there's a few different ways to break the neck i'm going to show you a couple ways right now a club you could use a club you'd hold the rabbit by your uh by the back legs with your weaker hand right there break the neck of course you want to do a lot swifter broomstick method so actually I have a shovel you place it behind the rabbit's head step on it both hands on the back legs and pull up and you'll feel it give that's actually my preferred method it's quick it's pretty painless snaps her neck and then whenever you take the head off you'll notice a lot of the blood come out another method is with the hand you'd hold it again with your weaker hand the back legs you'd want to get them kind of uh, calm down a little bit rub them whatever hold them over your your leg get them calm and then with your stronger arm you'd want to uh, karate chop back of the neck and that would break it once you've killed the animal, you're going to want to hang it up. I made this little contraption. I got a piece of board on there to kind of keep it spread apart. Little slip knots. And I got it hanging from a roll-up door. And then a five-gallon uh, bucket to put under it. You probably don't want to have a little kid running around while you're doing it. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Some tools that you might want to have, some rubber gloves to put on, pocket knife to do all your work, and some snips to uh, clip off the legs, the, well, the paws. I also have a gut hook. It's not really needed, but uh, I own it, so I like to use it, make myself feel like I made the purchase for a reason. I start with cutting the head off. Now that the head's off, I would take my snips. I go ahead and snip the feet off. I would cut around under under your rope, around the paws on both legs, so that the, the fur would strip back. Slice it over. So you'd have one big hole there and you rip it down. Now if it's a male, you're going to want to take extra care in this area here where this pecker would be. Because uh, if you go ripping that fur down with that pecker still attached, it's going to rip through its stomach lining. It's not going to ruin it, uh, but it will make an ugly cut. Alright, and then you just peel, this, peel the fur back. Boom. And there it is. A big old hunk of rabbit meat. That was pretty good. Alright, well thanks for watching. Next time I'll do uh, live rabbits. Uh, I'll show you how to kill them and clean them with an actual real live rabbit, not just my son's stuff. I had the ugly be rude. I really don't give a shit.